Hello, Tim from Fair Play. Now on the 12th of March 2022, before I get into the main topic I want to discuss today, uh, I'll just remind you that the next London shopping trip, uh, the Worldwide Rally for Freedom, just looking at my notes down here, is next Saturday, 19th of March, meeting up at 12 midday in Parliament Square. So that's what's happening. And I think the Worldwide Rally for Freedom is the one where they happen all over the place. So there's probably going to be uh, events in other cities as well, like Birmingham, Glasgow, Manchester, etc. Um, but I've only seen details of the London one so far. And that's the one I'll be going to. So... If you're going to be there, I'll see you there um, pretty much this time next week. Anyway, we all know, I've discussed it a couple of videos ago, about how prices are soaring, especially energy prices, petrol and diesel in particular. Uh, I sort of saw it at £1.76 a litre uh, the other day. And other people tell me there's places around here where it's uh, up into the one pound eighties, and yeah, it's probably going to be two pound a litre before too long. But you might be, probably not actually, if you're one of my uh, regular viewers. But you might just be thinking about getting an electric vehicle, an EV, and to try and get around these soaring petrol and diesel prices. And if you're really skeptical, you might sort of say that uh, the whole idea behind uh, these rising prices are to force people over into EVs. But if you are thinking about it, I've got something here that might make you think twice. And I'll just read it out to you, just get the note up here. And um, there's some new regulations coming into force here in the UK. And don't worry, if you're not in the UK, you don't need to feel left out on this because no doubt uh, these same kind of regulations will be coming uh, to your country as well. But I'll just read this one out relating to this country. On 30th of June 2022, the Electric Vehicles Smart Charging Points regulations come into force. All home installed EV charging points will need to be separately metered and send this information to the Smart Data, Smart Meter Data Comms Network. This legislation allows the electricity used for charging EVs to be charged and taxed at a higher rate than domestic electricity. The technology enacted also enables rationing of electricity uh, for EV charging because the government can decide when and if an EV can be charged. Plus, it allows the EV battery to be drained into the grid if required. So that is a very quick synopsis of what these regulations could well uh, entail. So really, it's giving the government complete control over the charging of your electric vehicle and of course it's going to mean they can uh, charge you at a higher rate so any benefits that you might currently be seeing um, with the charging of, of your ev uh, looks like they're going to be sort of null and void before too long and as we all know uh, giving government kind of greater control over your life is not a great idea. We've all, we've all seen that uh, in the last couple of years at least, if not longer. And if, and it just means that if the government don't want you traveling, if they don't want you to go more than 20 miles, 30 miles, 40 miles uh, from your home, they can just turn off the charging to your vehicle so that you've only, you've only got 40 miles of range in your vehicle uh, for a particular day or a particular week, whatever. 
So I thought I'd read that out, give you a heads up. Probably almost no one is talking about this. There's other things. Uh, but yeah, it just shows you how these uh, regulations, laws and things are creeping in, doesn't it? And it's going to get to the point where they could even, with these electrical vehicles... Oh, and another point. I did hear a thing. Um, I'm not sure how true this is. Again, unconfirmed. But I did read this morning that apparently... Uh, it must be the US government have asked uh, um, Elon Musk to see if he can basically switch off Tesla cars if they're in Russia. So don't know if that can actually be done, but the fact that uh, uh, this has even been reported on and people are actually thinking about this is quite frightening. So if you fall out of favour, they can just literally or might possibly be literally able to switch off uh, your electrical vehicle uh, or, or your EV. And they can at least restrict where you go with your EV as well. So if they don't want you going too far out to the countryside, they can do that. And the technology does exist. I've experienced it already. Uh, as you know, if you've been a viewer of this channel for quite a while you all know that I do like a game of golf here or there um, in the summer and yeah I'm a very much a fair weather player I've sort of been out for many months over the winter but uh, I'll be getting out again for the first time in a couple of weeks uh, for my first round of golf and I sometimes sometimes when we, when we go away for a golfing weekend me and my mates uh, we like to hire out those golf buggies that you sort of drive around in. A uh, bit of a lazy old man thing to do. And normally we walk and carry our clubs. Uh, but when we're on a golfing weekend, yeah, you know, we like to treat ourselves on these golfing weekends. So we might hire out a, uh, a buggy for one of these rounds. And I have been on them where... Because obviously they don't want you driving over the greens with these things uh, or over the tee boxes, you know, you know, where you play your first shot from on each hole. And there's other parts of the uh, sort of course that don't, don't want you driving on as well. And yeah, if you start getting too near to the, the green, it will actually stop. And then the only thing you can do is put it in reverse and reverse back. So it must work on some kind of limiter that's... Uh, linked to the buggy's electronics and sat nav positioning as well. So the technology to restrict you with these electrical vehicles is definitely there. And I've experienced it firsthand. And I'll just finish off with a bit of a funny story. We're um, Me and my brother were on one of these uh, buggies with this kind of control system on it. And we were driving along and... Don't ask me how we managed to do it. Uh, my brother's a bit of a nutty driver anyway, and um, he kind of managed to get into the situation where we couldn't go any further forward because of this limiting thing on the golf course, but he'd also managed to position the buggy so that the back of it was against this wall, um, so we couldn't reverse either. I mean, as I say, don't ask me how he managed to do it. I'm, I shake my head in despair, to be quite honest, <laughs> sometimes with him. Uh, but, um, yeah, all we could do is manhandle the thing around a bit, um, which took ages because of blimmin' heavy things, but we managed to sort of bump the back end of it around just enough so that we could then reverse back the required distance. Um, so, yeah, just a bit of a, a funny anecdote, uh, but relating to quite a serious issue uh, that we're looking at going forward. So, yeah, just be aware, 30th of June this year, the electric vehicle smart charging points regulations are coming in. And, yeah, just another little step further towards the uh, new world order, isn't it? Well, with that thought, I'll leave it for today. Tim from Fairplay now, thanks for watching.